everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video we are heading to Longford Plowing Mart. Just passing Father Phil out here now yeah. and we'll bear it on to the plowing. Here comes Father Phil and mother behind him. Far side. Johnston's Raptor arriving with more Massies. The A Hess is there. Be interesting to see the size comparison to the A Hess and the 6499. Father Phil thinks there's not a lot in it. But we're just about to set up here now. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So one of everything. I think there's hoodies. Yeah. This is coming together nicely, isn't it? And now that is the stall set up, 6290. Six cylinder BMC Nutfield and our old two for a ransom cloud, a van the 99. Look friendly. Bertie. Happy outlive. Look friendly. Anyways. So that's it now. Where's the hub? So we'll um, see how the day goes. We'll keep the camera with us. So Bear upon a bit of factor 50 because it's to be a good day and I burn quite easily. That's a handy wee tractor live. How much easier would one of them make pushing in? Huh? You'd be spoiled. Huh? You would. Mead farm machinery. Yeah? It's white, white trailers, yeah. Cavan. Cavan. Didn't take you to the buyers from different cabin. Very good. Horseless carriage. Eighteen ninety-nine. That's old. That's amazing. You'll be a long time tipping it, Liv, on the hand lever. Look at that, it's beautiful. 1899 Fiat car. Look how simple the suspension is on it. Leaf springs. Oh, you do? Right. The steering wheel. It was an old plane. Oh wow. That time you pushed the wood down. That yeah. You pushed the wood what? instead of the plane. Yeah, instead of the plane, yeah. <laughs> there would be a lot of work in this otherwise. It used to was a lot of work. <laughs> Good and yourself? Not too bad. Lovely day. Oh, oh smashing day. Lovely day. Yeah. Smashing day. Imagine now tipping round on that. 
governess's carriage. Terror to think how far we've come from from that, isn't it? I'd like to go back to that. Like, just how much space is actually in there? No, that's lay plow and live. So the plow with the spade. It was like pre, like the horse plow. You can imagine now how long you'd be trying to do an acre. Should do. Just look at them. There's some handlebars. She's they're amazing. Oh, they're gorgeous. Sweethearts. Sweethearts. <laughs> That's Henry and that's Hamish. Sweethearts. Henry and Hamish. H Henry and Hamish. Hamish and Henry. Henry. Hamish's horns is a little bit on the longer side. Yeah. And they're gorgeous. And the ladies are just gorgeous. Ah, oh, they lean on mine. You know what you They won't move from me. Ah, <laughs> oh, they do nothing. They're the boss. Oh, pets. And I called them up in the field this morning. I didn't have to go down for them. Come on up. I'm up the cam. <laughs> How are you? Good, and yourself? Good. What uh, hall have you? Huh? What hall have you here? Well, we have what? The hens, ducks, pigs, beef and lamb, and we can. That's dairy bread? Yes. Yeah. 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 How are the sheep then? Yeah. No. It'd be t t Texel Blue Cross. Yeah. Suffolk. And this is a. Uh, Swaysdale and the Suffolk Ground. Off the Suffolk Ground, yeah. This is Frisian uh, Old Hereford Cross. Oh, Frisian Hereford? Yes. He's a nice lump of a lad, so he yeah. is. Good chef, yeah. yeah. And then these are Peppa and George. Peppa and George. Peppa and George. They're Oxford Sandy Blacks are there. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Durock Four. All right. So how old are they then? They're um, they're about four months. Four months. months. Yeah. An Indian runner, Drake. Indian runner, yeah. Yeah. And a wild summer hen. Very nice. So Enda from Agriware, so what is it that you do? Um, we go call around to the schools and we'll say educate them a bit, a bit on safety first and then the different animals and what meat they produce yeah. and how to look after them and, and and have a bit of fun that's the main thing with the yeah. kids and you haven't haven't been out since covid we haven't been out since covid this is our first day out since covid so hopefully as i said that summer will be good plenty of shows and plenty and of getting out and about yes yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so agri aware i agree with you. So just walking through the ploughing here and everyone's kind of getting themselves lined up so for anyone who doesn't know what match ploughing is there you can see all the stakes going out into the field and that's them lining up to get straight and if i remember rightly what to do is we used to do match plow it's been a few years now so quite a long time since we've done any but to get a straight line you have to do the opening so you turn one sod over and then you turn two sods back and then turn two sods in and you do four runs and then they stop and get judged on that then they plow out x amount of runs they get judged on that and then they finish it out and plow it into everyone else so there's actually a kind of unusual massey there dt4500 four wheel drive power steering there's someone doing the first run yeah so you have different classes, you have vintage, you have two fur, single fur, you have farm old cub class, horse class, you have conventional, reversible, 
tree fir. There's a lot of different classes in this. They're all just getting organized now. Single furs. There's a Porsche diesel and a Farmers. 20. It's a big fancy tire. It's a big fancy tire you have. <laughs> so that's kind of it. all the bound. There actually isn't as many competitors as I've seen before at previous shows, but I suppose it's the first year back at it. Also, I have quite a few cousins and uncles plowing as well in different classes, mostly the vintage classes. So anyway. You know this man here? No. Farmer Phil. Farmer Phil? Yeah. Maybe he's on YouTube there. He's gonna put Be you on. He's gonna Be put on. you on YouTube. <laughs> so we're here with Declan from I Do Agri at his stand. Sweet. So how are you? Not too bad, not too bad. We're uh, set up here finally. Look at being these few decals and that. Uh, got the shears and I have this yoke that I'm launching today, kind of a yeah. soft launch. It's uh, just to replace all bits of bale and twine and rope for a gate, you know, you can put it onto any gate right. and uh, just quick release uh, catch, you know, just retrofit onto any yeah, gate. Yeah, so you, you cl clamp, clamp it on in there uh -huh. and then you just flick that, pull the chain out. Just pull that out, yeah. Yeah. And Very cool. Wooden, yeah. Well, how much are they? Or? Uh, we're thinking about 25, but uh, we'll be starting them today for 20. 20 yeah. year old, 20% discount for the launch, but uh, I might that's buy the idea. I think I'll buy one off, yeah. <laughs> Look like um, the right job, so they do. Save a bit of that, <laughs> yeah. uh, Not so bad. So you're all organised now to go ploughing and... I do always. <laughs> Have you ever done any ploughing before? Not at once, no. Not, ne never? Not in the stone country, no. No. <laughs> no Won't be much ploughing up your way, no. No, no, not a bit. Sure, we'll, we'll give it a go. I'd say it'll be a fairly snaky though. Yeah, it'd be interesting now, I'd say at least. Yeah. Anyways, I think I'll let these lads yeah. into you there and I keep going. No, I will chat to you later. Cheers, Class with an agitator on the front. I've often thought about doing that, put the tanker in the back and the agitator in the front, but the problem always is, well, apart from the fact that the front PTO would turn the agitator the other way around, which I think could be an issue, but could get around that, but pulling out junctions. Just that far out in front of you. Bad enough with the, the, the compressor or the front reeler or more, but geez, that. That sticks out a fair bit. Hello everyone, how are you? I'd like to welcome you all here today for our 86th ploughing match. We're having a celebrity ploughing event just over here in a few minutes. We'll have Farmer Phil. Um, Declan is from Loch Ray. He has a YouTube channel called I Do Agri. Anybody that's interested in suckler and sheep farming, Declan's the man. And uh, Jimmy Jess and Stuart Moyles will also be participating in this bit of ploughing fun and a bit of tractor balancing later on for a bit of crack. So don't miss it. You're not getting on too well there. Ah. Look at the grass yet in the middle. It said slow plowing ahead. That was for me. So 
Disappointing. I'll do it last, Jess. I'll do it last. When is the crowd is gone. Saving the best to last, is it? No. <laughs> or is it just saving the worst to last? Hoping everyone goes after. You'll be quitting your day job. Don't fuck Pressure up. Tires. So I'm a bit late uh, getting out to check the clown, they're all finished now, but sure how I never got the drone up there for a little bit. But um, yeah, that's kind of the clown match finish now. Didn't see much clown except for my shoddy bit of work. But um, anyways, yeah, I'm back, I think we'll get ourselves tidied up, there's not much more. Crowd is just starting to go now. That was a good day. Maybe a little bit sunburnt this side of my face for the feel of it. <laughs> and now that is it for today it's time to get loaded up to have everything packed away there so we're just 
get the low loader loaded up, get the two tractors strapped down. Hey! Bertie! Yeah. <laughs> we get the tractors loaded up on the low loader and we get ready for home, but amazing day. Anyways, we get loaded up. And now that is the load on, ready for home, all gathered up. Right, right. Time to bait on, Liv. Right, we bait on, as the t-shirt says. <laughs> as you can see, we're now in the plowing traffic. Anyways, that's really it for today's video. That's the plowing. Hope you enjoyed today's video. We had a great time. Massive thank you to everyone that. Uh, come over, bought stuff off us, Chad did, took more pictures and met more people, it was a holy terror. I feel like half my face is sunburnt, but Liv says it's not. Okay. But um, yeah, no, we had a great time. Uh, just big thank you to everyone that supported us. There, lots of people waving at us. But um, anyways, also the t-shirts, the pork, all will be online, be for sale, on the Stuart Family Farm website. So if you want, head over and get yourself some. It'll be on Stuart Family Farm Longford. Dot com and head over there and get yourself the bait on t-shirt bacon and sausages streaky rashers normal rashers what else joints they will have either boxes she'll do something there'll be pork on the website so you can get over there and buy it check it out anyways we're going to leave it at that for today's video um great day out great weather hope everyone enjoyed it and has big thanks to everyone that supported us that is it from us please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that is it from us. Good luck.